Hey guys, Brian and Aaron here from 5 to Go, and we are up at Lazy Days in Denver, Colorado, and we are looking at Class A's today. And this is our very first Class A tour. Mm -hmm. Now, the lucky winner of our first tour <laughs> is the 2017 Fleetwood Bounder 36H. Um, this one is a bunk model. It is. We are not looking for a bunk model. Not necessarily. But we wanted to go ahead and show it because it is one of the very, very popular layouts. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of these bounders out there, especially this 36H, and it's easy to see why. It's a great layout. Yeah. But before we head inside, I just want to talk about the outside of these Class A's real quick. <laughs> uh, we're not going to bother showing the outside of these because by and large, they are all exactly the same. Unless you have one that has an outside kitchen, you really, you just have a bunch of storage bays, probably an outside TV, yep. and and that's it. So we're really not going to waste time on the outside of these. Oh, there are some awning differences every once in a while. Mm -hmm. We're not making decisions on which RV we want based on the outside. So let's go ahead and head inside and show this thing off. Alrighty, so we do have the Euro loft, which is our first requirement um, for where the girls are going to stay. So that's good. And oh, stupid TV. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we stepped in this one a couple minutes ago, and that is <sighs> it's a stupid nice TV. Rig. Stupid TV is so stupid. It's so stupid. Look, and this, this one, even stupider. and this one doesn't doesn't tilt, doesn't pull, doesn't slide out. Nothing. It's just and the stuck couch is there. over here. Yep. Like, and the couch is all the way over here. To it, like some of them are. Yep. So mm. that's a first strike. It does have really nice cabinetry. Yeah. And has nice. Like, what do you call it? The struts and stuff? Yeah, on the them? struts are real nice. They're gas powered. Um, this is, what would you, what grade would you give this kitchen? So it has solid, oh, it's a little dark over here. So it has solid counter or covers on, on everything. Uh, Ben's plate pad is there. I need to remember that. Yeah. Um, I would give this like a, an A minus. An A minus. An it A does, minus. It yeah. does have the oven. Yeah, which we don't need. Which we don't need, but that's kind of a newer thing where they're convection? not putting those in. Um, this is convection. It's combination. So that's good. Yep. So that's good. Um, That'll bump this kitchen to an A minus. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is one of the the big size of the um, the loft. Yeah, the cab loft. Let's just call it cab loft cab from loft. now. I'm not gonna remember cab that. Loft. Yep. I'm not gonna remember that. But the um, they 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 have their own little TV up there. Yeah. But, yeah. So but that they're the only is... ones that can see that TV <clears> comfortably <throat> if they're up in the bed. Right. Yeah. So something worth pointing out here. Some of these uh, will come down and all the cabinets in the front will come down with it. Mm -hmm. This one, it's just the bed that comes down. So then when you're up in there, you can access these cabinets and nice. see that TV when the bed's down. So, nice, and sure. then there's no bump here. Which we like. Usually sometimes there's a little step here. So this does have a like laptop tray up in the front here. It's really hard to get out. Um, but I don't like this one because it's a pocket. So you can't leave stuff on top of it. I don't know how it stays in. So you can't leave stuff on top of it when you slide it back in. Okay, so moving backwards, uh, we've got controls up here. So Euroloft lockout, uh, thermostat, water heater, mm -hmm. generator, all that stuff. Some good size cabinets Whoa. up here. And then a cabinet. Oh, not a cabinet. That is a power control board. Okay. So not a cabinet, just some extra controls up in here. We do have a residential fridge, nice Samsung residential fridge, and lots of freezer space, which is yeah. nice. I think we use a freezer more than the fridge. We do. And then there's a so. little bit of pantry Ooh, space here. That's a dirty fridge. These that's do a, not roll out. That's a real dirty fridge. These do not roll out, but... Looks um, like you can change them, though. Yes. This one does have bunks, um, and they put new mattresses in, which is nice. And they have tiny little uh, their TVs, top little and bottom. TVs top and bottom that yep. they can control. So this is, not, this is not one of the convert ones. This is a solid. Yeah, this is an always yep. bunk yep. and a 350 pound capacity on that. This one has a half bath in the front, which is nice. We don't mind having the extra half bath, but it does have it up on a step which yeah. makes it a little difficult for the little kids to use yep. we would just have to have a stool or something in there uh, but nice counter space and some cabinet space as well yep big cabinets in there and then there's a pocket door too yeah so there's a pocket door off. here which closes off this front area and then there's also one here 
all some on there so you can close yeah, off close. just the bedroom yeah and then in the bedroom we've definitely got a king no side tables at all no. so i would either, either have to extend one or do something with one of the cabinets and drill a hole for my CPAP. Right. Um, uh, there's some, there's not as many drawers here as we've seen in yeah. some of the other ones. There are some, there are two tiny drawers under the bunk, but I mean, that might hold underwear and socks yeah. for each child. Um, these are a bit deeper and there is- I mean, they're a good size. And then, so then there's a lot of space behind here too. Yeah, space behind the TV. That would probably just be storage, not clothing. And the drawers are nice. And then there's a whole standing wardrobe. Yep. That you could build shelves into. Oh, it's huge. It's, it's a lot of wasted space for us. Wow. Um. Yeah. Okay. And, and then, then and there's no washer dryer prep out here because yeah. there's space for a combo down here and this, this is, is the exact same model we had in our travel trailer yeah. so we know and we love it it, does, it was great it did work well i like that there's a place for you to fold the laundry. yeah i was about to say no you're not yeah yeah you said that correctly <laughs> this time yes it's not oh there's a place for us to fold nope no. it's me <laughs> and yeah so there's lots of nice Medicine cabinet cabinet. space in here this is definitely deep enough to put towels in some mm -hmm. of these usually aren't deep enough um but you could put stuff there and then there's i don't know what you would put back here but oh it's like a little cubby know, maybe you it would hold uh -huh. like your lotions and that kind of thing i guess yeah. and then it's not a huge shower but it's doable and there's a seat i like a seat yeah yeah so that's nice and then this one's also bumped up a little bit the toilet. yeah the toilet here yeah um it would just be something to get used to yeah uh, a lot of the rv like the class a's that we've seen in the bathroom they have sprayers for the toilets too which we had never seen in a travel trailer or even any of the fifth wheels that we looked at yeah. so perk of a class a i guess okay so let's go cool. let's go up front in the light all right and uh give some final thoughts on this guy here while i bump into the wall oh no the okay, final so, thoughts on this one? Yeah, so uh, pretty good rig. It checks a lot of the boxes. The stupid TV. Except for that one. Are, some of you guys might give us some crap about the stupid TV. Uh, but it's important. Because it we're going to be in it full time. Mm -hmm. And we watch a lot of TV and play a lot of video games. Mm -hmm. So the TV has to be in a good place. Mm -hmm. That it's is not, a, not good a good place. That is literally, unless you put it behind the couch, <laughs> it could not be in a worse right. location. Right. So... We have a couple other rigs we're going to look at here today, mm -hmm. so make sure to check out those videos following this one. We have found a couple that have TVs in the correct location, uh, and we have found one that is an awesome layout, but there's no cab bunk. Mm -hmm. There's no bunks at all. So yeah. that one's not going to work for us, but we still want to show it to you because it's a great layout. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Again, this was a Fleetwood Bounder 36H pretty good unit so mm -hmm. it's still on the list don't know about that thing but we'll see you guys next time bye, bye.